Oh my God. We eating the same things, but it don't look like it. We're well, actually on the way to 100K subscribers too. Above the Gucci area. Which makes sense, right? Coconut oil, lubricant. Makes all the slippery sense Slippery smoke, right? Good bitch. We don't want to rip. We don't want to rip. Could you imagine the pain? Are you nervous about giving birth? It's okay. It's okay, my lovely girl. It's okay. Do you love your mama? Okay. Psycho girl. Honey! Sit! Honey. Oh. Oh. She's been outside for a little too long. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Candace, and I'm waiting for Omar. Well, he's showing off his body, and I'm showing off mine. We eating the same things, but it don't look like it. <laughs> it sure don't look like it. Look at his arms and look at my tummy. I did arms today too. You can't tell. I didn't even do arms today. Would you look at that? See how God works in his house? Hey, won't he do it? <laughs> You're just so lucky. Won't he do it? What's up guys? It's your girl Candace. And I'm Omar. And welcome to the Komar Show. Today we are gonna go over our third trimester updates. Oh, There's man. so much to catch you guys up on. We wanna thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. And sharing it if that's what you're doing too. Yeah, and for everybody that's pregnant or if you're soon to be pregnant or just like the Komar Show, we appreciate y'all and we're growing right along with you. 1,000%. So we appreciate it, but. We're actually on the way to 100K subscribers too. Yeah, and if y'all. We're knocking on a door. Come on. Can we get there? We want that little plaque. Like that's our goal. What the is that? Yeah, that. Ocean felt that. Oh. Then vibrations. Mm. We went to the doctor yesterday, y'all. We are finally at 29 weeks. On Wednesdays, we are one week older. And I say we as in. The three of us. <laughs> All three of y'all. All three of us. All three of y'all. And so it was our first doctor's appointment in the third trimester. So yeah, we had a lot of questions for her. I know I did. Um, yes, Omar she was using She was using all kind of scientific words in there that I just didn't understand. Like, what did she say? It, it, it was in reference to the baby. The gooch. Oh yeah, that part, that part. What is the scientific, I don't know. You guys, we'll pull it up right now. That means the gooch. And <laughs> she was saying that she it tries. Rip. Yeah. We had watched this one video mm. about natural births because that's my plan A, to try to have a natural unmedicated birth. I'm not against anything that happens. Of course, we just want a healthy baby girl to be 1, delivered. So whatever needs to be done, needs to be done. But it's our first time, never felt the pain before. So I'm just like, let's just try to have this natural unmedicated birth. With that being said, I was asking her all these questions I don't seen online and my friends have had that have had babies. I've asked them like, what do you do? And one of the tips was to put coconut oil above the gooch area. Which makes sense, right? Coconut oil, lubricant oil. Makes all the slippery sense Slippery smoke, right? And in the doctor's appointment she mentioned that it helps create rippage so coconut oil creates rippage and we just we don't want to rip we don't want to rip could you imagine the pain that you will be in if your gooch ripped <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. It just, it just, ah. And then afterwards, it's like the stitching together. Then they gotta stitch it back. Women have to do this all the well, time. Well, you know, if you walk in like. Just like that, and I walk like that now. Imagine with a ripped gooch. Oh, I no, can't you're gonna even. Be, you're, gonna, you're gonna be doing this. You're gonna be like this. <sighs> oh, man. But there was another word that she used yesterday. I think she said breach. Yeah, when the baby's breached. Fellas, let Maybe me know, know let me know, let me know in the comments below if you guys know what breach means, because. I didn't know. But it really just means that the baby is feet first, right? Yes. And we've learned yesterday. Well, actually, we're not even gonna talk about it. Just come with us to the doctor's appointment yesterday. All right, let's do that. What's up guys? It's your girl Candace. And I'm Omar. And we are headed to our third trimester checkup. Ooh, first checkup of the third trimester. Yeah, I wonder what's gonna be different other than this belly getting big. I don't, I don't know, but we're in the home stretch and this could happen in fast. This is happening fast, it's coming at us quick, and boy, do we need to do a lot of things. We still gotta pack our pregnancy bag, we gotta get we gotta the room practice, right. pack this car. Gotta hey, pack gotta the pack, car. We gotta pack this car, this car empty. We got um, a stroller and car we got seat. a car seat. That was cool. So we're very excited about that. Yeah. And yep, yep. it made it all kind of real. Did it? It did. That made it real for you? Yeah, cause they're big and they're like, oh wow, we're really gonna have to have one in each car. Like there's gonna be, like you're gonna be like, it's not gonna be open space anymore. So we're about to head over to 
Dr. Collins' office. That's right. And we're gonna just do what it do. I think that I'm feeling a little bit different for the third trimester is the fact that she is kicking. And boy, when she kicks, it's so strong. Like, girl, <laughs> you really are out here trying to be some type of athletic trainer or something because your kicks feel like you're headed to the World Cup. <laughs> football. Football, not, you know, American football, but the other yeah. football. She goes crazy. And then she goes with the with the foot and the arm at the opposite. So... She crazy. I don't know who her parents are, but she they crazy. Happy feet. You know, got dance fever in there. She's been swimming around. That's what it is. Oh, before we get in there, I need to show you guys what we have on the go this morning as we are stuck in traffic headed to the doctors. We have been on this kick of overnight oats for the past few weeks, and I think it's been life changing. <laughs> also, it's really good and it's power packed and it has protein antioxidants and all the things we need and it's giving the baby all the nutrients just know i don't play when it comes to this food okay and this nutrients okay Take off my shoes, but it's fine. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my titty. <laughs> no way. Maybe put it on a little way. How do you feel about it's like it's my chest? If I felt like it was anything else, I'd be just distraught. You want her what to do? Her area. What is that? The area between the gooch. The gooch. <laughs> The scientific name. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. Right. She's right there, kicking it. Is she still facing my back though? Yeah. Oh, she's getting strong. Oh, she looks like she's a mermaid. So, how do you feel? She's healthy. We good. It's interesting because her head is down here now, which is what eight weeks prior, which is great. But the only thing is, we need to get her back towards the front and right now her back is facing my back because she's chilling it's all good she's doing good so great day over here all right so that was our doctor's appointment yesterday and wow baby girl is growing yeah and she's upside down already so it's like she's, she's ready, ready to come on out but it doesn't mean that she's gonna be coming out any earlier it just means that she's, she's in a good in, position in a great position but the one thing that we do have to make sure she flips this way so that she comes out from her the top of her head instead of of the front of her face so right now her back is up against my back so what do you She's have kicking it like that so what what did we learn yesterday that we had to do to get ocean to turn around essentially what she was saying is step one to pretty much lay on our sides when we're sleeping not only lay on our sides but lifting the right leg so if we're on the left side the blood is flowing to the heart lifting the right leg straightening but putting the right leg on a pillow I know it sounds like gymnastics, but it's really not that serious. Just lay on sounds, your side. That actually sounds pretty comfortable. Yeah. Let the gravity pull the baby so that she starts to turn forward. Because then she'll be ready. It's optimal position, and it could be really smooth go time. So we're going to mm -hmm. try to do that. But you know me. I had to go above and beyond. So we called in our doula, Courtney, to come in today to help us do some more movements. Anything that we could do to just be extra prepared. Just to make sure that we can make sure to have this baby nice and healthy and smooth sailing. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I think the people want to know. What? Because if I was the people, I would want to know. Are you nervous about giving birth? Hard yes. Absolutely. I'm so, I'm so glad you didn't mind. Well, because what I, it is is that. I would put you out there. Cause I know you. I know you know. You were walking in here at first like. So confident. So confident. And then we've been watching these natural births because I'm just doing all the research. And we just saw one that the baby was breached and you know, how can we explain it? So many things went wrong. But so many things I went mean, right. I mean, nothing went wrong. Oh! Honestly, nothing went wrong. I wish wrong. we could just, show you guys the video. It just looked like she was going through it. Honestly, and then I, she honest... pooped and then the baby pooped when the baby came out Crazy. with feet first. Crazy. Okay. Honestly, honestly, what I would love to do is do a reaction video, but I know YouTube is going to flag us. Yeah. So, yeah. but like, honestly, like watching our faces, specifically hers, is a... Uh, 
that really it's some real entertainment things into perspective like i really got to give birth to this child like this is really you happening. you got to go through that it's all fun and games until you, you really got to push something out of your situation that you. you've never done this before you. okay yeah you. yeah straight up so i'm gonna are you mentally ready to give me some tips on how to stay strong and focused Mr. Oh, I've done this for a living. Without I've done what for a living? <laughs> Mr. I played one of the toughest sports in the world. This is a t this is a sport at this point. Are you ready to give me that extra umph? I am. What are your tactics? First and foremost, I, I would hope a coach always hopes that the player is prepared. Okay. So I hope that you're prepared. Okay. Okay. I think just talking you through it. You know, there's no way around it. There's no easy way to get through it, but reminding you to breathe. It's very easy to forget to breathe when things get hard. Mm -hmm. And that's not in just in childbirth, but in anything. Yeah. Like you start running, your breathing changes. You know what I mean? You start wrestling, tussling with somebody, your breathing is going to change. So I think just constantly reminding you to keep your breathing mm -hmm. at a more controlled state <sighs> and just encouraging you. That's really... <laughs> oh, I got. He's like, that's that's it. My hands are tied. Oh, I'm scared to hold your hand because I'm scared you're gonna break it. <laughs> Who knows? You was like, I'm like, I got Who you. Knows? You're like, ah! I'm gonna put him in a headlock and be like, ah! <laughs> I'm planning. I'm planning on literally having the most like quiet breathing birth. Like, I don't want no noise in the room. I want to just zen her out, and if I could, I would be like and just push her up with every breath. Hey, okay. that's what I envision. I'm gonna go into this the way that I feel like we should. I'm gonna continue to have this confidence and I'm not gonna lose my confidence just because I've seen a video or two on Instagram. That part. Preparing, preparing, preparing. Control our breathing through this diaphragm that's yes. hidden somewhere. Not up here. Ooh, it feels okay? like it's up here. Cause if it's up here, it's stress. Did you guys see? We don't want stress. Did you see um, how much your girl gained? <laughs> from that video, Ooh. yeah, that's another thing we want to talk about. I haven't been worried about my weight. Like, usually, in any other instance, you know, PCOS girly, worried about it, trying to figure it out. All that has not mattered to me at all. It's been about just keeping her extremely healthy, yeah. and yeah. I'm just like this vessel at this point, and staying really true to our routine with staying active and moving so that my brain works properly and I could think clearly, but other than that, I haven't really been worried about the weight. A lot of people say that they gain between this amount and this amount. I haven't been paying attention to it. I don't even go on the scale unless we're at the doctor's office. It's been really nice to just kind of let baby grow and do her thing and kind of keep the stress off of the weight part of pregnancy, mm -hmm. which I'm very proud of because coming from a dance background, you know, that was always a concern, always a concern. Being able to switch into mommyhood, I guess it's nice. It's, it's a kind dope. of freeing, oh, you know? I'm loving watching you go through this phase oh. and this season. And I'm just so proud of you for handling, handling it the way you you are. Yo, fellas, not that there's many watching. My hey, fella, be. raise your hand in the comments. It's one hell of a thing watching your woman adjust to pregnancy. You know, something that we never have to experience. You know, we only just get, have to be there for, you know, support. But it's not an easy job. You know, gaining weight, moving, having, having to alter the way you move, sleep, walk, simple things. You know, I, I compare pregnancy, even though it's not the same, but I compare it to like getting injured. Because when you have an injury, you know, you have to change the way that you do your everyday things in life, you know, and you take things for granted. Yeah, you take things for, for granted. Sure. You take things for granted when, when you're 100% healthy or when you're not pregnant, I'm sure. Yeah, every little step. Yeah, every little it's thing different. You do is it's different. different. So I'm proud of the way that you're handling it because it's not easy. Being pregnant is not easy. It's a tough job. And yeah, so I just wanted to give you your flowers. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And I appreciate you for obviously just being there with me through it because I don't know how people do it alone. Nah. And I don't want to know. No, nah, I don't want to know either. Matter of fact, a famous plug nice and he just dropped the yeah. episode about fatherless families. I definitely think you guys should tap in with it because if you guys are here, it's something that I think will connect and resonate with you and something that we all can pull from. So yeah, absolutely. yeah, tap in with that episode. Sorry for the shameless plug. It's okay, it's all good. Uh, lastly, what we have coming up, so it's the last three months, right? The last stretch. trimester. So we have 
a maternity shoot that's coming up within the next couple of days. We have our LA baby shower because you know we are both from opposite sides of the country, so you know what happened with the Miami one, the whole dress debacle. If you have not seen that episode, make go sure go back you and watch that. Go back and watch that. So we're looking forward to our LA peeps to be at uh, this LA baby shower. One thousand percent to celebrate baby Bolden, baby Ocean girly, and then after that we're gonna just do some hospital bag packing, some nesting, some putting our baby gifts away and it's gonna be go time after that. I We're keep saying pack the car too, cause you keep leaving that out. That's, that's a real thing. He's bit. ready to pack the car, which is, I, and I'm gonna be there sitting right here watching you pack the car, babe. I just, I just don't know how I'm, I'm gonna, how mobile I'm gonna be, cause right now I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. And we're gonna keep you guys riding along. So if there's anything you wanna see, make sure you drop it in the comments. 1000%. And um, Omar's gonna get to work today. He's gonna go head to a shoot. I gotta go shoot right now. Yes. Shout out to the good old guys at ASRV. Man. Yeah, shout out to ASRV. Omar's always dripped down. I mean, I got on the sweats now, but. He's always in something ASRV. Yeah, for sure. We love it. And also, the doula's about to come over. Shout out to Courtney, and we're about to get into some five movements that's gonna help our baby turn forward so that she's ready for birth. All right, guys, thanks for watching and staying tuned. Um, be sure to like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe to The Komar Show right now. And uh, on that note, we out.